Hey there, Heather Boyd here and welcome to day three of the 10 day watercolor challenge. In this challenge we'll be doing some pretty simple designs for watercolor using all kinds of different techniques and we'll be making them in a small card size that you can turn into greeting cards or little miniature works of art. If you're participating in the challenge be sure to subscribe to my channel and join my private Facebook group in the group you can share photos of your projects for the next 10 days and if you're watching this video after the challenge has ended go ahead and join the group and share your own artwork any mixed media art is fantastic so have fun with the challenge videos and i can't wait to see what you create today we're making an abstract geometric painting using masking tape to mask off some areas so you can just get some painter's tape or masking tape and just put it sort of parallel to the side of the edge of the paper. The paper is also taped down and you just want to start forming geometric shapes. Now I went with squares and rectangles. You can go with triangles or just very abstract shapes as well. Uh, whatever you see fit. It's just going to be really fun to see how this comes together after we've painted a bunch of shapes. So we want to press it down gently with our fingers so the paint doesn't bleed. And with a, quite a watery paint, we're just going to start with one color and then go with another color. And then we're going to clean our brush and just blend them together. So just gently, if there's too much water on your brush, remove it and then the um, brush will pick up some extra color and extra paint that's on your surface there. So have a towel nearby to dry your brush as you need. If you need to add more color you can as well. And then we're going to go to another area. I didn't draw this out first. I'm just kind of winging it as I go. So we're going to make another shape and just kind of decide how big we want it. It's nice if the shapes are different sizes, just gives it a little bit of variety. So then once we have that established, we'll just put another piece of tape there, always parallel to the edges if you're doing the rectangles. And now we're just gonna add some nice watery blue paint in there. And then we're gonna add a little more water if we need, add some purple. If there's not enough pigment, grab some more pigment and just start filling up the area. Kind of do one side first and then the other side. And then we're going to blend them together with a clean brush. And then just do any little touch-ups that you need to. If you see that it's too watery, just pick up a little bit more of the watery paint. And then when you're happy with it, you can let it dry, make sure it's thoroughly dry, and then you're gonna take the tape off and always pull the tape away from the painting. Be very gentle as you pull it, and then replace the tape in another position, anywhere else on the page. So you're just going to then paint that area and it's a project that takes, you know, a few stages. You want to let the areas dry before you go to the next area. And you can always work on a few projects at once so you don't have to wait for the drying time. Now I'm just using some warmer colors here, some ochre and some umber. And then you can just play around with it so they're blended how you like. If you find there's not enough pigment, you can add more pigment. Uh, just go with the flow with this. And now we're going to do another area because that area is dry. So we'll lift the tape, pull it away from the painting and replace the tape in the position that you want. Could be a rectangle, could be a square. I like the way the squares look with the rectangles. And so now get another color, whatever color you want. Don't overthink the colors. This is just for fun. You'll be surprised at how well it turns out after the end. And now we're just going to blend these together with our brush. If you need to add more water, you can. If you need to lift the water, you can. And now once they're dry, you're going to replace the tape 
in another position. And choose another color. Maybe try to give it a little variety so the colors aren't the same right beside each other. And blend these two together. This would actually be really fun to do with the salt technique as well if you want to put a little texture in there. Sky is the limit. So now we're going to remove that tape because that's dry and replace the tape. And then we'll go ahead and add more color in there. And you can make the colors as dark as you want or as light as you want. So now these are dry. I'll remove the tape and replace the tape. Get fresh tape is your, if your tape got too saturated. Don't be stingy with the tape because you don't want the colors to bleed. And then now we'll just choose some different colors and continue in the process. It's a very fun project. I think you're going to enjoy this. And all you really need is the paint and some masking tape or some painter's tape. And that's the final product once you have all the areas done and it looks beautiful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more art videos and join the private Facebook group to share photos of your work from the challenges and your other artwork. Thanks for watching and we'll see you the next time.